As you can see, I was recently inspired by a trip I took to Costa Rica, and these paintings are of my memories of Montezuma. My book teaches you how you can go from drawing to confidently facing a blank canvas in just 10 steps. Because if you take the time and patience to learn the basics of art, you are ready to create to your heart's desire. This little book took me a lifetime of painting, time spent teaching art, and two years to complete. At first, it looks like just another art tutorial, but it is so much more, as you shall see. Once one has learned drawing, anatomy, proportion, perspective, composition, care of art tools, brushes, color, tone, texture, value, light and shadow, and finally methods of inspiration, which a lot of art books leave out, one has learned almost all they need to know about art to go in any direction they wish to pursue. And this is key now to consciously deviate from it and begin to express from the soul. Art was highly revered in all the greatest civilizations and it's also a vehicle for positive human evolution. For these reasons everyone should know and learn how to teach the basics of art. Human creativity must be kept alive at all costs Listen to this. According to the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, scientists did a study on the creativity levels of a certain study group and revealed that 98% of children are born with a genius creativity level until they're about five years old. And by the time they reach 10 years old, only 30% of the children in the study were left in the genius creative category. And by age 15, that had dropped to a staggering low of 12%. And sadly, after years of schooling, adults are at a measly 2%, those that were left with their creative genius intact. So what better reason could there be to stay in touch with creativity than studying art and maintaining a high level of creativity throughout life? What better reason could be found to teach art to children and keep their creative genius alive and kicking from birth? So, splat yourself around the soul and stop being creative. Splat has everything needed under one roof to pursue your creativity and enable others to do so as well by learning how to teach the basics of art. This includes the 10 basic steps of art with seamless lessons. The lessons flow from one to the other. Inspiration methodologies, meditations for creativity, one for children and one for adults, and a progress chart with a celebration of completion once all the lessons have been completed to the best of one's ability. And the celebration of completion is in lieu of grades because when you grade somebody then they, they put themselves on a scale of good to bad as an artist and it doesn't help them. But if they complete a course then they feel much better that about being an artist and that they are an artist thank you so much for watching and if you want more about splat you can go to my website at janeevershedart.com and i hope you like what you see and you realize the importance of art and the importance of teaching it. Just like reading, writing, and arithmetic, art is right up there as one of the most important basics that we can learn. And the real beauty of this book is that you don't need to be an artist in order to teach art, because the book itself shows you how to teach art 
to a loved one or anyone that you wish to teach art to. That way we'll have a whole lot more creativity in the world. Once anyone has studied visual art, it seems to bubble over into all areas of one's life. Cooking, gardening, whatever it is you're up to, you've fired off your neurons, your creative neurons in your brain, and they start working for you in every area of your life. So this book makes a great gift for anyone you know who you feel should or could be more creative. 